Okay. So the first one here is um, Dr. Dennis Gross's website. Um, so a few really great things off the bat. Um, having video content up here above the fold um, in a large hero tends to perform really well. So that's awesome. Um, we also have testimonials really high up on this page, which is great, especially in this product category where you're able to build trust right away with your customers. Um, and user-generated content does really perform well, again, especially in, in this type of a, um, a product category like skincare. Um, so uh, the CTAs are also really descriptive, which is great. So shop peels, um, begin now um, versus, you know, just learn more and, and shop on all of these. Um, so a few areas where, you know, there could be some improvement. Um, if you look for mobile on this website, um, these CTA buttons are really narrow. So in general, if we can widen these, um, that tends to improve the mobile user experience and get more clicks on these, on these primary CTA buttons. Um, so that's one big one. Um, another area that we wanted to point out. Um, so once you get to um, the product page here, um, this might not be the best example because there's not additional sizes here. Um, but on a lot of the products, there's multiple sizes offered. Um, and we recommend, um, and obviously this is something that that brands can test on their own and see if it works for them as well. But we've seen a lot of success with brands switching away from drop downs to product selectors. So if you instead have your selectors sort of like buttons available for each of the sizes, um, it decreases the number of clicks um, in order to add to cart because obviously if you have a drop down, you're forced to do two clicks to change the size versus just seeing all of your options and being able to click right away. Um, plus it, it shows your users the, the options that are available right away. Um, so that's a really big one that we've seen like huge lifts for clients when they we switch from drop downs to, to variant selectors. Um, this um, subscription call out is also pretty minimal. So I do think that if, um, you know, this could be made a lot more prominent um, if, if increasing subscriptions is a primary goal for, for this company. Um, you could definitely call this out with, with, you know, some of the orange highlighting, you could just make these radio buttons. So like you can either purchase one time or subscribe, um, and that could definitely lift your, your subscription rate. Um, and then let's, um, for the cart, um, I added, um, a couple of things earlier, but um, there's <clears throat> the, um, this is a similar issue of what I, I mentioned on our, our first um, review is just uh, the two-step cart. Um, so if you're able to combine these steps, so having a slide out cart, that's your, your only cart, or just having a small Moodle and then your cart page, by having this, this cart here and then having the button to view and edit cart rather than check out, you're gonna drop off a lot of your customers in that process just because the more clicks that you require to get to check out, the, the worse your conversion rate is going to be. Um, so I definitely think that that combining these two pages um, would, would have really high impact um, on this website. Um, so yeah, that's this one. I don't know if, if we wanna switch back and forth or go through a couple more. 